Hello everyone, I'm Anne Pilingaros, Health and Social Care student, level 4. Um, the reasons why I take up the uh, UK Diploma in Health and Social Care course is because first, I would like to uh, shift or pursue a career in healthcare. Um, actually, my dream is to become a nurse. And after I graduated in high school, I really, really want to take up nursing course. But unfortunately, the situations did not permit. Um, we are not financially capable uh, at that time. And I'm um, considering the fact that um, uh, medical courses are costly. So instead, I took up another course. But um, the but getting into healthcare is still in the depths of my heart. Um, I recall the time uh that i always send a message to and query message to the icsa admin um asking for what or uh, for when they are going to have um, medical courses and so when i heard that they're going to um offer to go they are going to have um caregiver course i um i am i was so excited because uh for me it's uh first step Toward the chibi dream, toward the chibi my goal. And um, the second reason is that um, I want to try new challenges, new um, uh, opportunities in other countries um, such as the UK, the um, USA, Canada, New Zealand. Um, I believe that um, after uh, finish this course, I can have a chance to go look and work in those countries. Um, especially that uh, caregivers are in high demand in those countries nowadays and in the near future. Um, the third reason is that um, caregiving is um, challenging and at the same time a rewarding career. Rewarding in the sense uh, not only in financial but also in um, uh, emotional aspects. Uh, helping those uh, people in need of our care um, especially the elderly uh, by providing our assistance showing our love our support our um, compan com compassion um, th those things will make a big difference in their lives and um, for me uh, those are the most fulfilling things um, I'd like to express my gratitude to um, our instructor, um, Sir Mark Kevin Diakos, for his unwavering support and encouragement to all of us, his students. Um, I respect him for his kindness and for his patience. I really appreciate his teaching approach. Um, he teaches in a simple and in, in a clear way uh, to the extent the that his students will clear will easily comprehend and understand the lessons especially those um complex medical terms and um he always reminding us of what to do of what to uh to prepare what to what are needed to, what are uh what we need to bring in the class and um and, and how to do our modules having a supportive instructor like him uh uh, makes his student his students more motivated and um, enthusiastic in pursuing this career. Um, Sir Mike, uh, Sir Mark, we really appreciate everything that you have done for us, and um, thank you big time. And for those new students who have the same goal, uh, my advice is to have courage. Uh, keep us. Uh, Strive harder on achieving your goal, stay focused and motivated. And when you feel like you are about to give up or you are a lack, lack of motivation, um, try to focus on positive things that inspire you. Um, stay uh, motivated by reminding yourself of why uh, pursuing your uh, dreams is important to you. Um, everyone has the ability to dream, but not everyone has the um, willingness to truly uh, chase their dreams. I know it's not easy, especially in the case of all FWs like us. Um, working and at the same time studying is really hard. 
and it takes a lot of courage a lot of hard work and sacrifices but in um but keep in mind um uh, the time will come that those hard work those um sacrifices will be worth it um each one of us has our own uh, set of circumstances um that uh, can be used as an excuse but um do not let those circumstances uh deter you from uh, continuing the path to your dreams keep believing in yourself that um you have the ability and the capability to do it and the most more importantly uh, have faith in god thank you